Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carla and this is Carla's Sweet Life. And today's video is an extreme clean with me. I have some organizing to do. I'm tackling my kids' bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen specifically in today's video with some speed cleaning motivation tackling these areas. And so glad you guys are here today. Let's get started with this cleaning motivation in my small home of 1,500 square feet. Every night I'm going on the grid texting back I want you Of course there's laundry in here Literally the story of my life. I feel like lately I've been coming in here and there is something in the washer whether I did it or my husband did it and we both forgot to tell each other, hey, there's some stuff in the washer and needs to go in the dryer. So quite the shock you would say but just getting some laundry started i had some quilts in here to wash and then some clothes right here we keep like the baby's clothes because we do have upstairs and downstairs so it's just easier sometimes to use the baskets downstairs as well and i love this kirkland brand free and clear knockoff I love it. It smells so good and I love the Suavitel fabric softener. It's I only use a little bit because I don't want it to be overpowering and I do have some laundry motivation. Like I said, I wasn't really prepared to fold this load of laundry right away but it's all good. <laughs> Giving some laundry motivation to start out your day and if you're here watching the weekend or even throughout the week, I hope this video gives you some motivation to tackle something in your home or keep you company for today for the duration of this video but I just really appreciate you being here and clicking on today's video if you decide to subscribe and stick around make sure to say hello down in the comments whether you're new here or you've been here for a while I would love to know how big is your family down below in the comments so we are a family of six so let me know down below in the comments how big your household is in your home currently I came in way to strong cannot keep it low key got me drugged your pheromones hit the roof bottle your taste it's really a bad reception out there where you heading why in gravity pulling you in closer to me I've lost you but I need you and you're off my So those items that you saw me throw in the washer were the sheets for the boys bedroom. So I washed their sheets and then I came up and made their beds later in the day. It was like so much later. Sometimes I can get a lot of cleaning done in one day and maybe like an organizing project, but man, the day just got away from me. And I've been really struggling, you guys, lately with my anxiety. And I know I've, like, told you guys about this. I need to really speak to someone. Um, and, like, I'm at the point I just don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> like, I just don't. But, like, I'm hanging in there. I've been doing some things to try to help me, like, sleep, of course. Sleep is really important. And I've been trying to focus on that. And then getting outside on the outdoors. When I'm doing this voiceover, it is the May 18th. And so we were able to go on a hike. And that was just like really nice distraction from like all the chaos that happens at home. I don't know. It was just really nice. And I knew I needed it. I told my husband, I don't really want to go, like to be honest. But I, I told him like, I do want to go. <laughs> like, I don't want to go, but I do. He was very confused. But it's almost like working through these emotions and not like not having to be fixed right away. I had a friend tell me that and I was like, yeah, that's kind of how I feel right now. It's not like it, I do want to get better. Um, I don't know. And it's not that I don't want to get fixed. I just want to like be here and I'm doing the little things that I know will help me. But I know I need some more 
coping mechanisms like moving forward and I like I mentioned I, I do think I have some depression like postpartum depression kind of creeping in so let me come back to the video here this is another I think it's the next day but I made the boys bed like of course they slept in it and now I was tackling the second half of the, their bedroom so you can see like there's just a bunch of stuff everywhere and needed a mom clean I like to call it a mom clean because they can clean it but it's just definitely not where it needs to be you know things put away where they belong Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it I guess my point to just opening up to you guys It's just, I guess letting you know that I'm here, I'm struggling at times i have good days and bad days good times and bad times like it's kind of just like a little bit of a roller coaster so that's how i know that i do need some help so yeah i don't i'm like very i love to be encouraging and really honest and super open about this so i just appreciate you guys letting me talk this out and Maybe this will help you in some sort of way, but I do have the list of some doctors I want to contact. So I did, like I'm doing little steps. It takes, I don't know why it takes me so much to make that darn phone call to a doctor. Like why does it take me so long? And it's for me, but for my kids, I'm on it, you know? <laughs> It's just for me, it takes me a little bit longer, but I'm like, I'm good. I'm just, you know, it's just a roller coaster ride. And as I'm doing these voiceovers, voiceovers, like being outside did help me. So I'm like just indulging in the good endorphins. I want you. How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? and the boys do have a pretty small bedroom obviously like they are seven years old and ten years old and they share a bedroom so it is quite like things can get quite overwhelming really really quickly especially in a smaller room they have a small room that is for sure all of the kids bedrooms are pretty small and then the master bedroom is actually a pretty good Good size sorry I just dropped my phone um, but yeah it's it's a small home I mentioned earlier was it 1500 square feet but we're making do I'm really trying to like organize and declutter staying on top of that and decluttering any time and moment that I get just to get things out of our home it is quite the process I don't know if it will ever end but lately Brayden, my seven-year-old, has been really into Legos, so I wanted to make sure I didn't, you know, break them, so I was putting them in this clear bin and putting them in the closet. That way, Abigail, my almost two-year-old, doesn't get them. As you see her, she's just into everything. all right things are looking better it's not so darn chaotic they have more things than i would like right there but oh. yeah and then this is much better it was really chaotic in here toys just thrown hangers everywhere and this is much better also i am going to shift my focus sorry it's really bright to these two bins. So these two bins have sheets and blankets and it's just like we don't use them that often. So I need to really go through it and be honest with myself. So yeah, I'm hoping to go down to like one bin. That is like my goal. 
still I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you That thing is as big as you are! <laughs> You're so cute, Abby! Yay! <laughs> Yeah, I see you. <laughs> I the eyes, eyes, say eyes. <laughs> the nose, nose, nose. Good job, nose. Good job, nose. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Hair, your hair. Yeah, it's pretty, huh? <laughs> hey, sweet Carter Bear. Hi, sweet bug. What do you want to tell Mama? Yeah? What else? What else? I love you. I love you. Our boys don't use sheets. I don't know, do y'all's kids use sheets? Our boys like just throw it off and they don't use it. So I always contemplate on keeping it or not. I don't know if I should. Like all of these are sheets and just taking up space, literally just taking up space. But I feel bad just donating just the sheets. Like what do I do with all of this? So I really hope this works out because when we have blankets like on the bottom of this bin, you have to take everything out, right? And now you can like see everything you have and grab the one blanket that you want, right? At least that's my, that's my thinking and hopefully this will work out better. And then I'm going to talk to my husband about these. I'm like, I mean, I don't know, guys. What do y'all think? Donate them, trash them. I just don't know if, like, we donate them. Like, what can people do with this? I mean, there has to be something, right?
And now that the boys' bedroom is put back together now, moving into the kitchen and doing a kitchen cleaning, dishes, a little bit of decluttering in a cabinet that I, I will be tackling, and normal dishes, cleaning all the little messes from my little girl that she makes a lot of mess. And this is just like one meal. Like obviously you guys don't see every single meal that we clean up, but it's like at least three times a day. So I think it was in my last video, I did a few cabinets of organize and declutter. I will link it down below because I did these cabinets and they have been working so much better, you guys. So I will have it linked in the iCard and down below in the description. I feel like I need one color, right? Why do I have so many colors? So I got some new plates and bowls from Target. But they were they came in like a light aqua color white and black and then we had some blue plates already and some pink ones and it just looked like a mishmash of stuff like it was just not flowing very well so i ended up getting rid of some of that ones that were like dingy very scratched up and so i got rid of those but now i want to like i want to get the same color for like all of them and just keep it super simple and just, I don't know, but that would mean I have to buy some. But the good thing is that they are cheap. So recently I have been brave and bold and I've been putting like dishes a little bit dirty in the dishwasher. Well, the dishwasher is not very good. So we've come to the conclusion that we have to rinse off our dishes before going into the dishwasher. It's kind of like a waste of time, but like not really because our time is very precious <laughs> having four kids and then two under two is so chaotic at times but yeah we just came to the conclusion that we have to rinse off our dishes before putting them in the dishwasher it's something we've done before but i kind of was kind of testing the waters putting some a little bit dirty dishes in there like silverware i'm like oh it'll be fine no it was not fine we had to go back and wash them again I didn't get a close-up of this faucet area, but it was disgusting. So I used the Dawn Power Wash and then the Scrub Daddy to get this nice and clean, but I wish I would have gotten it before. Like I, I haven't been thinking very well lately. My brain feels like mush, like I cannot retain anything, but I think that's just part of the anxiety and everything going on. So this is the brand Better Life and I forgot what it's called but it's pretty much for like the white sinks, the bathtub and I've also used it on our kitchen, um, the stovetop and it works really awesome on the stovetop and it's like a non-toxic, really, really awesome. I have no idea what's in it. I should definitely take a look at that but man, on the stovetop, this Better Life brand it was it's awesome because i've gotten some really hard stains off of there and i'm like oh this isn't gonna work and i put it on there and it works so the the brand is called better life every time that my mind slip i just see my past life having dreams in a dream i wonder why i carried on with the things that made you lose your mind there's a way Fresh like a morning. Whoa. 
what's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of time. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So you'll see the after shot of this dining room and small kitchen combo and sometimes I'm like oh my goodness this is so small but then sometimes I'm like oh this is just perfect because everything is close by and it's not like a super large area to be cleaning because on some nights I am just over it and I want to go to bed but I hate waking up to a dirty kitchen so sometimes it's just worth it to me to get it done and then sometimes obviously I leave it but I was using the Mrs. Myers. I don't remember the scent but it's like the yellow label and it smells so good i love this stuff and my plants are doing so good i'm trying to do like a slow-mo here um brayden was waving at the camera <laughs> that's a little hand you see but now that the kitchen was all done we'll be moving into the living room here shortly my sweet little carter and there's dishes <laughs> and i still gotta do bottles If you've been here for a little while, you're going to get tired of me saying this. I feel like I'm so sorry, but most of the time, my older boys do pick up the living room, living room, but every once in a while, I will come in here, and that's usually when I film it, and I will go through Abby's stuff and then Carter's stuff because, let's be honest, my seven and 10 year old boys did not organize it. They just throw all of these toys and things that you see everywhere in the bins, like the cube organizer. And so I have to like go in there and like organize everything because Abby will not play with it. So it needs a mom clean and organize every once in a while. So that's what I'm doing, just getting things organized for her. So she's more likely to just grab the items that she loves and she can play with them more easily. Of you, of you. All my friends keep on saying that I'm better off alone. They don't know what it feels like, but I do. So you faded out while I watched it down. Obsessed with myself. Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken. Can we be strangers? Suck inside fresh like a morning. But what's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of time. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print of you. So I miss my target It's the time to move on But I cannot I shoot in the dark so And to finish off this living room area I am just tidying up my desk area the ikea shelves where abby she's been climbing on the desk and reaching up on the shelves so yeah so much for putting things on the shelf she's just like you cannot you cannot have your eyes off of her like you need to pay attention to her all the time but i'm quickly tidying up my desk before it got even worse i feel like if i do this every couple days i can stay on top of it and it doesn't become like a total disaster. 
all right my end of the video crew thank you so much for watching leave me a star down below in the comments so i can thank you so much for sticking to the end i would love if you guys shared this video with someone if you think it's helpful to you i hope it kept you company maybe helped you get something done in your home or like me i love watching cleaning and organizing videos as i'm tackling my cleaning around the home so Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to say hello in the comments. I just love hearing from you guys and getting to chat and just really getting to know you guys. I recognize so many names that just keep popping up in the comments and I'm just so, so grateful. I This community keeps me going. So I just am so beyond grateful, but I love you guys. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Me home. I know I can't make you mind. Yes, I ran out of time. There's no hope for.